Welcome to Denver, Colorado, home of one of the most rare beasts to ever grace the earth, the Nikola Jokic, whose dominance and decision making is unparalleled. However, he's also surrounded by two mythological creatures, the Jokic brothers. I'm Amin El Irwin, and we're going to find out whether they actually exist here on the Dan Levitard Show. Have you seen the Jokic brothers in person? They're enormous, and they are frightening. See, look, I don't think they exist. I think what? I think this is all I like it's all. Pro- I was here too. I didn't Moore, see him. With the Morris brother, like the whole thing. Wow. Well, no, I, I saw. Yeah, I saw Jokic yeah. hit the Morris brother, but I didn't see the <laughs> the Jokic brothers. I think this is all propaganda created by the league by Denver to make us to keep us scared. The boogeyman in the night, right? <laughs> I just saw the promo for the boogeyman. Mm-hmm. They're they're worse. <laughs> It, they are like every Bond villain rolled into one. It's like Goldfinger and the dude from Diamonds Are Forever, you know, like Blofeld, all of them. They're just, they're terrifying. And you should be afraid of them at all times because they can kill you with their mind as well as with their hands. My, they could always just get on a flight and go home after they do it. Have you ever seen them out in the wild? I haven't seen them out in the wild yet, but I, I don't know. The... The video evidence is, is pretty convincing, man. I don't know, but you know, you're right. You know, CGI, special effects, who knows, man? Who knows? Star NBA player <laughs> says he's never seen Jokic, but I, I talked to Jeff Green. Jeff Green, I said, Jeff, are they real? He's like, yeah, they're real. I said, all right, well, when have you seen them? No, I'm going to tell you the story. So last year when I first got here, uh, I stayed by a big park here in Denver, Washington Park. And uh, the first time I met uh, the oldest brother, we were, I was at a park with my, my daughter. And I just feel a big tap on my on my shoulder, like I'm talking about, like a strong, a meaty tap. Yeah, like yeah. And um, you know, I'm like, at first, I'm just like, all right, like it's about to go down, it's about to, you know, happen. But you know, I want my dog. He's like, hello, Jeff. And I'm like, what? And but he walks away. He doesn't stay like so I can say what's up back. And he keeps walking. I turn around, and the older brother has tats all down his back. And I just look at him. And I look at my wife, and I just shake my head, and I start laughing. But you know, they're they're great human beings, uh, great people. Um, but they're passionate about 15, and you know the Denver Nuggets. So you know, you gotta love it though. Saw the back. That's a good point. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm on to something. I'm gonna keep looking. Now, if I were to try to ensnare them in a sort of trap, what sort of bait should I use? I can't speak to that. I don't know about that one. See, they got everyone shook. <laughs> Everyone's afraid, but I'm not afraid of the truth, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get to the bottom of this. They're our brothers. Stop this. I mean, to see the fear in his eyes, he's he's bought it. He believes it. Be afraid. See, this is this is the propaganda they put out there, right? It, it's I'm just saying, it's like Bigfoot, Bigfoot. Be afraid of Bigfoot. Don't go out in the woods and stuff. But has anyone ever seen Bigfoot? It's like it's all blur. If a big black dude is telling you to be scared of something be scared of something. I'm going to ask you for one piece of advice, perhaps. Okay. If I were to lure these... Don't. Mm-hmm. No. Just want, bring them out in the open. No. No. They have tattoos that change when they flex muscles. It's like Hyamine, and then they flex it. It's Hyamine El Hassan from Phoenix, who works for Metal Arc Media. Hi, Dan. I mean, it says it all the way around there. This is... See, this is exactly how mythology gets built. A little bit more every time, and now, now they're ten feet tall. They breathe fire. Does have mic flags? This interview is over. In my hand, I'm holding what looks to the naked eye to be a bottle of water. Nothing suspicious here. But inside, I have replaced the contents with 100% pure Serbian vodka. Catnip. For the Jokic brothers, according to lore. Just gonna let it sit here. Most people won't even notice it. But I'll be watching, waiting to see if we can draw them out somehow. Now we play the waiting game. Come on, come on. Come out, come out wherever you are. So setting the bait didn't quite work, right? All right. Sometimes you just have to be a little proactive. And by proactive, I mean, try looking for them the old fashioned way. Locked, of course. Now earlier, Jeff Green said, they're in the shadows. 
then they come out when they need to be. This, this hallway right here, the lighting isn't great. Oh, what do we have here? An open, dark room. Taylor, if you don't want to go in here, I'm all right with that. Oh, shit! Shit! Uh, it's, it's just a beer keg. It's just a beer keg. False alarm, everybody. It's just a, a beer keg. It looked like a person. It looked like it was looking right at me. Hold on. Hold on. You sure it's them? Okay. Okay. Wait. So, drop a pin. Yeah, just, just send me your location. Uh, hold on. We're like 10 minutes away. I'll be right there, okay? All right, cool. Come on, we got a sighting. Come on. In retrospect, ordering an Uber probably would have been a smarter idea. <coughs> As my search continued to be fruitless, I realized in order to catch Jokic, I had to think like a Jokic. And in order to think like a Jokic, I needed to drink like a Jokic. So I went to a local watering hole to see what I could find to drink. Have you ever seen the Jokic brothers in person? I don't think so. Never. A myth! I'm telling you, everywhere we go, no one's actually seen them. My roommates, cousins, neighbors, uncle said he saw them a couple years ago. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to do the math. Jenga players, sorry to interrupt. You guys are from Denver, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. I'm from Illinois. We won't ask you this question then. Oh, shit. Does that count? Question. Nikola Jokic's brothers. Everyone's afraid of them. Everyone's terrified of them. Are they real? Have you ever actually seen Jokic's brothers? I can't say I have. They were down at Jimmy's last week, though, dude. They ain't nothing. Not Jimmy's nothing. is in Illinois. Weak. I'm from Illinois. Trash. See, look, everyone's giving me answers. They're always kind of like in the ether somewhere. Like, it's not an actual, yeah, I had lunch with him or whatever. Oh, yeah, he was. Oh, what's Jimmy's? What kind of establishment is Jimmy's? Irish bar, my guy. What would they do? They have a uh, sister bar in Ireland called Jenny's. Where are they in Ireland? Where are they in Illinois? Where are they here in Denver? Nobody actually knows. It's all hearsay and conjecture. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. There's some commotion outside. I think we might have seen something. Hold on. There's heavy police presence. What are we looking for here? Can you zoom into the back seat of this, this police cruiser right here? Do we have anything? It didn't look like there's anyone back there. What about this one right here? A little bit of a shadow. A little bit of a shadow. I'm not going to lie. When I started this, I didn't believe. I thought it was all propaganda. But the longer I spend in Denver, maybe it's the altitude. In the shadows, I hear it whispering, calling. Dobre, which is Serbian for something, not sure what. Not sure what. Let's go drink some more. And drink some more I did. The more I drank, the closer I felt to finding out where these Jokic brothers were. I hadn't slept in four days, hadn't had a solid meal in three. This wild goose chase of the Jokic brothers was proving to be long, inexplicably long. Like the cable for this microphone, well, who needs this much wiring anyway? We're back at the arena for game two. We figured the best place to find them would probably be at a game. So here we go. Let's take a look, see what we can find. Damn, it's a lot of people, man. It's like picking a needle at a haystack. Oh, shit. Is that him right there? Is that one? 
Nah. False alarm. It's close though. So little time. So many faces. I felt like the weekend running through those damn funhouse mirrors at the Super Bowl. This is where I needed to be. Right at the top of bird's eye view. I can get every single person here. I'll find you. Even if it takes all night long, I'm gonna find you.